Okay, so let's do the other problem quickly, and this is not so bad. So we are here, so the B, hydrogen is two, carbon is four, three times oxygen is six, we got 24 electrons, okay? So that's how I do it. And then I'm looking at carbons in the middle, so I'm going to write carbon in the center, and an oxygen on the other side, and hydrogen you can put anywhere you want. Okay, so I just put it on this side, put it in, so it's ready to form the bonds. And then I'm going to form a bond, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm using 10 electrons. I got four elect 14 electrons to use. Yeah? And then I am going to I say, okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. So I'm going to take care of the oxygens now. And that one is eight, 10, 14. So you have nothing, right? Nothing left. So this carbon is nothing. Okay, no, no so for you, okay? No electron can be gone in here, but as far as uh, other items are concerned, I'm done. So let's uh, start to assign the former charges and see what we can do later. So this is the former charges, is all zero, 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 zero. This is a negative charge, right? And if you count this, carbon, carbon is four to be neutral, they only have three. Right? Four being neutral, you got three, so you got one electron deficient, so you have a plus one charge. So then what do you do? It, it is a happy scenario. I mean, this one is even extremely unhappy because they violate the rule, but they, if they can steal one of the lone pair electrons to here, so, you know, give me these electrons, right? And then what's, what's gonna happen overall? Carbon, Oxygen will double bond and oxygen hydrogen. Oxygen hydrogen. And um, the rest of them is happy. Now, what's going to happen here? Everything satisfied, and there's no formal charges. So, this is a, this is a, actually the hydrogen carbonate. This is a very com common compound that we actually use. In practice, C. Now HCO3 minus, in this case, you have a one extra electron. So therefore, hydrogen one, one hydrogen four, three times six, plus one extra electron there, and therefore 24 electrons. This is the same scenario as I did before. And then I'm going to write carbon oxygen, 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 hydrogen here. One, two, three, four. So I got four bonds, so the eight electrons are used. So 16 electrons, okay? So then what I'm going to do is, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So then uh, I got 12. 14 and 16. So 16 electrons are all used and there's nothing left. And therefore, this one is former charge is negative one and that's a zero and zero. What's the, what's the former charges in the center? Once again, it's the same thing as up above, plus one. You guys can do that. And actually there's another, another kind of backdoor way that I usually use a lot. If you think about the overall, I know every former charge is, every atom except this one, right? And do you know what's the former charges of the whole entire compound? Minus one, right? So therefore what? If this is minus two, plus one should be minus one, right? So I can do that way, that way as well. So that's, there's so many other, many ways that you guys can do. 
doing so. So that's my first step. And then I'm going to choose, uh, well, can you make a double bond? So therefore, your answer here, oxygen, carbon, double bond, oxygen, hydrogen. I'm put all this oxygen there. That will be the, the Lewis structures. And I, I, love, I love to see you guys say, to locate that, oh, the, actually the, all the overall, this molecule has a negative charges, the negative charges concentrated on one of the oxygens. And then actually somebody will ask, you know, you, you're saying this, how about doing this, right? So these two are sort of the geometrically identical. So you will learn about the resonance structure later that actually they go back and forth. They can form double bond here, single bond here, and they can form single bond here and double bond here. They can go back and forth. So it's actually half of the charges and half of the charges. That's, that's why you're learning your organic chemistry more. All right, the last one. Last one is actually not so not so bad. So let me use a space up there. So phosphorus is where are you here? Which is a number five. So phosphorus is P is five, and chlorine is uh, seven. So four times seven. Right? So therefore, and then you have a plus charges. So you lose one electron, and that's the number that you have. And this will give you 42 electrons. Okay? And then uh, you're going to put PCl on the side. And then you're going to form four bonds. So 32 minus 8. That's a 20. 20 what number? Twenty-four electrons, right? So you have a twenty-four electrons. Then I'm going to make each chlorine satisfy the octet rule. We got six of them each. So uh, six times four is twenty-four. We got nothing left. So no electron to the phosphorus in the middle. And I'm done, but. To, to complete this, I use a bracket to say, you told me that this has a positive charges, right? And then I can complete this by assigning the former charges on phosphorus in the center. Okay. So former charges is part of the Lewis structure. Without assigning the former charges, you are not really complete. So make sure that you, you complete this one. Make sense? I mean, the, you remember that chlorine has all four more charges of zero, right? Everything is zero, so this gotta be the plus. You will learn about Lewis structure more, and it's just better for you to get k But what I said today makes sense, right? Count the number of valence electrons, connect them together, make sure they are satisfied. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we are done, so you can go to the restroom and you guys can start the lunch.